2014-15 Bundesliga season. It ended with the best team top of the pile as champions. It included a tearful farewell to a coaching icon. And it finished with a relegation drama lasting through to the final seconds. Top class football. Emotions. Passion. And pure ecstasy. The champions retained their crown. Bayern claimed the title for the third time in a row. The nation's most successful club set the benchmarks again this term. No other team came close to their 80 goals. Bayern dominated the league from match day one onwards and were unbeaten in the first half of the campaign, despite a difficult and disrupted pre-season. I think Bayern were outstanding in the first half of the season. I never thought they'd do it after having nine players at the World Cup through to the very end. As we all know, if the players return exhausted and drained, they normally need a couple of months to get back up to speed. But it's time you don't have. Bayern Munich, still the gold standard, despite many obstacles. Borussia Mönchengladbach were arguably the biggest surprise package. The Foles qualified directly for the Champions League for the first time in their history. In doing so, Lucien Favre set the seal on four remarkable years as coach, a time in which the Swiss Supremo transformed relegation candidates into a top team. Gladbach have waited a long time to make the Champions League proper. Now we've done it, it's just unbelievable. Wolfsburg and Leverkusen took the other top four berths. The Wolves equaled their best ever points total from the title winning 2009 season, led by Kevin De Bruyne, who finished on 10 goals and 20 assists. The Belgian completed his ascent from talented hopeful to superstar. He's been our outstanding player this year, and he does it all for the team. No airs and graces. That's the greatest accolade of all. Leverkusen's man for the moments of magic was Karim Bellarabi, Bayer's top scorer with 12 goals. And one of them is now in the history books. Bellarabi netted his first with the season just nine seconds old, a new Bundesliga record. Leverkusen came fourth and now have a shot at Champions League qualifying. Talking of records, 2014 to 15 included a number of new entries on the all-time roll of honor. Moritz Stoppelkamp hit the target from more than 80 meters out, a last-ditch clearance that ended in a goal. This Christoph Kramer effort also went in at the wrong end. The World Cup winner lobbed his own keeper from a distance of more than 40 meters, also a first for the Bundesliga. And era came to an end at Borussia Dortmund. For seven years, Jurgen Klopp was more than just a coach. He embodied the Ruhr Valley Club's mentality like no other, acting as a public persona and figurehead. In the course of a tough campaign, Klopp came to the inevitable conclusion that change was essential. What matters now is for this club to simply have the opportunity to get back to making best use of the enormous potential that's still here to continue developing free from obstructions thrown up by its own past. For that to happen, one of the main men has to clear out, and in this case, it's me. The first half of the season was a disaster, but Dortmund hauled themselves clear of the drop zone and ultimately salvaged a place in the Europa League. However, a clutch of the league's biggest names were battling relegation to the end. Take Stuttgart, for example, who spent the whole of the second half of the campaign in the bottom three. They were still there going into the last day, but a win at Paderborn brought last-minute salvation. All the pressure of the past few weeks has just dropped away. It's like winning the title. Hamburg's escape was even more dramatic. The relegation playoff was in stoppage time when Marcelo Diaz netted a free kick to drag his side back from the abyss. An extra-time goal sealed a 2-1 victory over Karlsruhe and preserved Hamburg's top-flight status. Cracking goals and fabulous football. For the 13 million who flocked to the stadiums, the 2014-15 Bundesliga season was one to savour.